Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into a Rivals of Ixalan bundle. So it has been ages since I've cracked into one of these. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this set was released in January 2018. I still remember driving back from the midnight release in the snow uphill car was going all over the road it was craziness but i had my rivals of ixalan and i was happy all right let's see what we got here so the booklet that's pretty cool we'll take a look at that later and we have a poster in here since it's been so long we'll crack this open you can find these on tcg player right now for about 69 bucks so a little bit pricey, but still a nice little flashback to the past. And here we have the nice deck box. Let's see what we've got here. A nice dice. Okay, so they are smaller back in uh, this time. So here is the set symbol. Let's roll a lucky seven. And we got a three. Okay, let's set that aside. And I think we actually get, yeah, we get 10 packs here. Holy moly, a land pack. We won't bother with that. And this quick reference card, this is like the same thing they would put in all of these. So nothing too exciting there. So let's get to cracking. So there's a bunch of tasty stuff here. You're looking for Polyraptor and Trapjaw Tyrant. Tender Shoot, Dryad, and so forth. And I think there's also a couple of uncommons that are worth looking at. So we have Sun Sentinel, followed by Miss Cloaked Herald, Goblin Trailblazer, Plummet, Dusk Charger, Secrets of the Golden City, Jungleborn Pioneer, Cleansing Ray, Mutiny, Squire's Devotion, and for the uncommons, we have Jungle Creeper, followed by Oathsworn Vampire, and Dire Fleet Neckbreaker. Oh, and what's this? A, uh, just a checklist. Okay, I forgot about those. And Path of Metal for the rare. On the other side, we have Metzali Tower of Triumph. Okay, and a Vampire Token. So the four tribes here, we have the merfolk, the vampires, the dinosaurs, and pirates. So which uh, of the tribes is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Next up we got Sanguine Glorifier Sea Legs, Sun Colored Raptor, Legion Conquistador, Knight of the Stampede, Recover. Some nice artwork there. Nearly skipping over, Luminous Bonds, Sworn Guardian, Impale, Bombard, and Highland Lake for the Uncommons, Siren, Reaver, Pride of Conquerors, and Jade Light Ranger. I think that was a contender back then. We've got a Forest and Elemental. And I think it's funny how people look back on Ixalan now. I think there's a bit of fondness there, but at the time... I remember a lot of people weren't that happy with it, although there were some uh, other players at my LGS who were happy about the pirates and stuff. I think I got beaten by a vampire deck several times. We've got Sea Legs, Frilled Death Spitter, Fanatical Firebrand, a Goblin Pirate, and they had those weird goblins in this set. Miss Cloaked Herald, Moment of Craving, Naturalize, Jade Bearer, Buccaneers Bravado, Martyr of Dusk, and Sworn Guardian, along with a Petalus Plunderer. Nice. Okay, even with the reprint, we'll put that in a hits pile at the top there. Blazing Hope, Ravenous Chupacabra, and I think uh, Lost Cavern's Vixlan, what is it, the Chupacabra Echo, something like that. And Protein Raider for the rare. We've got a Swamp. And Dinosaur Token. So were you playing Magic back when this set came out? What did you think about this one at the time? I'm curious. 
Next up, we got the Firebrand. I think I had him in one of my mono red decks. Swaggering Corsair, Sanguine Glorifier, Hunt the Weak. Vampire Revenant, Jungleborn Pioneer, Buccaneers Bravado, Grasping Scandrel, and Secrets of the Golden City, Tilinali's Crown, and Foul Orchard for the Uncommons, Thunderherd Migration Aquatic Incursion, and a Mythic! Yes! Trapjaw Tyrant! Awesome, we'll sleeve that one up, and a Plains, and what's this, Minecraft? Really? Okay. Magic the Gathering skin pack now available for Minecraft. I completely forgot about that as well. All right, on to the next one. We've got the Angrath, the Minotaur on the cover here. Maybe we can spot him. We've got Fanatical Firebrand again. Is that like the third one we've seen? Suncrested Pterodon, Sailor of Means, Canal Monitor. I always thought that looked like an otter, not a lizard. Guilt Grove Stalker, Dinosaur Hunter. Anyone remember Turek? Did you play those games? Awesome. We've got Martyr of Dusk, Sworn Guardian Impale, Evolving Wilds, and Forsaken Sanctuary for the Uncommons, Daring Buccaneer, Crested Herdcaller, and Kumena's Awakening. Alright, a Swamp and Treasure Token. Okay, so we're getting through. We're about uh, halfway through now. Do them pretty well, I would say. We've got a Divine Verdict. River Data, Frilled Death Spitter, Naturalize, Dusk Legion Zealot, Hunt the Weak, Jungle Born Pioneer, Arazka Relic, Grasping Scandal, there he is again, Overgrown Armasaur, and Cherished Hatchling for the Uncommons. Forerunner of the Coalition, Raging Regisaur and a Wayward Swordtooth. Okay, not bad. And a Forest, followed by the City's Blessing. Anyone remember that mechanic? It was awesome. Next pack, so we have four to go. Can we get another Mythic? We've got a Crashing Tide. A Razka Raptor, Raptor Companion. Knight of the Stampede, Recover. Plummet and Gleaming Barrier, along with Strider Harness, Jungleborn Pioneer, Gruesome Fate, and Mausoleum Harpy for the Uncommons, Forerunner of the Empire, Stormfleet Sprinter, and Dead Man's Chest, along with a Mountain and Merfolk. Alright, next one. So stay tuned, the uh, Lost Caverns of Ixlan Collector Boosters finally came into my LGS, so we'll be getting stuck into those in the next couple of days. We've got a Brazen Freebooter, Divine Verdict, Spirewinder, Dusk Legion, Zealot Knight of the Stampede, a Razka Relic, Grasping Scandal, Overgrown Armasaur, Telenali's Crown, and a Stormfleet Swashbuckler. Forerunner of the Coalition Expel from Arazka and World Shaper. Okay, so that's actually a foil. So I think that means we're getting a double sided card. We got a checklist. And here we go Path of Metal again. Really? Alright. So a bit of duplication there. Not that good. And a sapling. Two more to go. Will the duplication ever end? You know what? I would take another Trapjaw Tyrant. That would be fine. We've got a Sun Sentinel, followed by Sailor of Means, Sun Collared Raptor, Knight of the Stampede, Recover, Plummet, and Evolving Wilds, Bombard, Luminous Bonds, Sworn Guardian, and Riverwise Augur for the Uncommons, Dire Fleet Netbreaker, Silvergill Adept, and Vona's Hunger for the rare, followed by a Plains and Dinosaur final pack here. Then we'll take a look at the player's guide there. So I don't think we've made it into the Greatest Hits playlist. Link in the corner. The Greatest Hits in channel history. It really depends on this final pack. Fingers crossed, we have Sea Legs along with Stampeding, Horncrest, 
Sanguine Glorify, a moment of craving, aggressive urge, Jade Bearer, Soul of the Rapids, Dark Inquiry, Luminous Bonds, and Enter the Unknown for the Uncommons, Sky Marcher, Aspirant, Reaver Ambush, and Brass's Bounty, wah, 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 wah. Foil Pride of Conquerors, and a Mountain and Vampire. Okay, so let's take a look at this player's guide. These things were awesome. They don't do this anymore. You get a whole bunch of lore and interesting facts about the set. So, Legends of the Immortal Sun. The true origin, in case you were wondering about that. Angrath, there he is. What else? We have Watley, also back in Lost Caverns. The top 10 coolest rivals of Ixalan cards. So we've got Watley, Radiant Champion, Angrath, Timestream Navigator, that's a cool one, Gauta, very cool, Form of the Dinosaur, and Azor the Lawbringer, the Immortal Sun, Legend Lieutenant, Azor's Gateway, and Seafloor Oracle, alright, and then the Card Encyclopedia, so bunch of awesome stuff here, okay, so there's the Tyrant, we pulled that guy, and can we see some of the other hits here? I'm noticing, yeah, there's a couple of cards we pulled. Oh, the Rekindling Phoenix. I remember that one. I had a deck with that. That was pretty cool. Except people would... Was that the one with the token? People would, like, ping the token. And you'd be like, oh, I was hoping to bring it back from the graveyard. Oh, let's see what else we got here. More Dino Goodness. And some lands, artifacts, and that is it. All right, so there we have it, Rivals of Ixalan. Let me know in the comments what you think about this set. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.